Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video is more of a public service announcement, I guess. Um, so uh, recently I've been hearing the gotcha rates complain a lot. People saying that apparently the chance of pulling a character is 0.5. A lot of confusion about how the rates work in this game. So I wanted to make an in-depth video on how gotcha rates work and um, kind of explain it to people. Also, along with that, I also wanted to compare it to other gotcha games I play, such as um, Fire Emblem Heroes and Grand Blue Fantasy. One tip I wanted to give the players is, if you play any gotcha game, whether that be Fake Grand Order, Grand Blue, Fire Emblem Hero, Dokkan Battle, um, Don Machi, Tokyo Ghoul, I don't care what game you play, if you're expecting to play these games and get what you want, um, reality check, you're not going to get what you want 9 times out of 10. Very rarely do you end up getting exactly what you want. It's, these games are predatory and they focus, they focus on getting you to want to roll until you get what you want. So, just telling people this now. The games are fun, but they do take a bit of control um, to know that you're not always going to get what you want and that's how these games work unless you're a mega whale and in which case you want to send, spend 10k dollars on this game every day well then go ahead i'm not going to stop you but do know there's a donation button down below so if you want to hit that and help a brother out <laughs> feel free <laughs> but um anyways so i want to explain this you may note that this account is definitely different from my own account um, I had to use another account because of the fact that I can't use my own account because it has a rate up and I wanted to get the actual numbers in a gotcha game. If you didn't know, this game similar to um, Fire Emblem Heroes have a system where it's called a pity system. Depending on how many pulls it takes, uh, how many pulls you do, and this game is 10, Fire Emblem Heroes is 5. Depending on how many pulls you do, you get a higher rate. Um, all the way up to 10 if you do 10 um, 10 pulls you would get a guaranteed item a guaranteed five star it, it runs the exact same as in Fire Emblem Heroes I believe Fire Emblem Heroes you can do 120 pulls in total to get a guaranteed five star in this game you need to do a hundred pulls to get a guaranteed five star though in Fire Emblem Heroes, it gains a lot faster, and this game gains a little bit slower because that game requires five, while this game requires ten. You know, they both games have their own way of doing it, but these systems are very good, and I wish all gotcha games had a system like this. Sadly, they do not. Now, one thing I will mention in this game is that you can always look at appearance rates in these games. Um, Graham Blue has it, Fire Emblem Heroes. Most gacha games do have this appearance rate due to a controversy in Grand Blue in 2016 because the game, the game rates were hidden. Japanese law kind of forced that game and other gacha games like it to, to show the chance of you getting specific units in the game. So we're going to be clicking on appearance rates right now. Now you can see here that the base rate of a 5 star unit in this game is 4%. Um, that's everything that includes the featured and the normal rate. You can see that featured is 2% while normal is 2%. Now, as you can see here, this is what I was talking about. 10 more summons before a 5 star rate increase. So that's very important. I hope you guys do notice that. Now, upon doing a uh, 10 roll, your rate will go up by 0.5. So it will go from 4% to 4.5% and increase it every time. So afterwards it will go up to 5%, then 5.5, and 6%. Now, what people are very confused about if they see this right here, where it says featured, and they see the 0 0.5 and be like, oh man, the chance of me getting a, a five-star adventurer is 0 0.5, but that is wrong. That's 0 0.5 is only applying to the feature unit, the feature unit. So the feature unit in this banner being Halloween, at least Anne, she's the feature unit right now. So the chance of you pulling her is 0 0.5. If you scroll down here, it actually has a break of through uh, on each actual unit's rate. So you can see Halloween, at least Anne, it's 0 0.5 because she's the feature unit. 
but the chance of you pulling a normal five star unit is 0.05 pretty bad not that bad compared to other games i will be showing you other games in a minute so because this game is still rather new the chance of you pulling a unit is a lot higher than most games this is this normal and gotcha games as the pool gets more diluted with more units the chance of you pulling stuff that you want becomes a lot higher you can see here the pull of normal five star dragons other than the rate up is 0 0.1 because there's less five-star dragons overall, they have a higher rate of you pulling them. And Worm Print having the low rate as well. So, Though, nobody wants a Worm Print. Uh, we'll talk about that in another video probably on how the prints are and how I feel about them. But I didn't want to explain that. I'm actually going to do a 10 pull so I can show you guys how the rate is increased. So let's just do a 10 pull really quick. Hopefully I don't mess up this video because I don't want to do this again. <laughs> I'm not trying to re-roll. I'm just trying to do a video. We're going to skip through it. I'm not going to make it a big thing. I just wanted to show you the rate increase and stuff. Let's skip through it. Hot garbage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we did our 10 pull, and now you can see that the rate has been increased to 4.5. Now, it splits up. So it goes to 2.25 in featured and 2.25 in normal. So when we go to Halloween, at least Anne, her rate will be 0 0.56 or 0 0.565, I believe, to be precise. Oh, it's two. 0 0.562. So that's the chance of you pulling Halloween, at least Anne. Her rate also goes up along with every other unit. You see that each unit went up by 0 0.006. So it used to be 0. 0 0.05, now it's 0 0.056. So over time, as you keep pulling, you're going to have a higher rate of pulling units you want until you get to the 10. If you pull 10, 10 rolls without getting a unit, uh, you will not, you will get a guaranteed five star after that. One thing I will note is that single pulls are added into this. So if you were to pull a single pull, let's give an example here. Single pulls are also added. It does not always do a 10 pull. Though, I didn't, didn't know what that. Okay, so you can see that it's going to say nine here in the top left corner. So they are added. They just do not increase it until you get to your 10. So no matter how you do it, single or 10 to pull, you get to your 10. Um, a little tip from me is that as your pity rate gets higher, I recommend doing 10 pulls over single pulls. Uh, I would recommend at the beginning doing singles and then going to a 10 pull. So that's the way I do the gotcha personally because of the fact that um, you want to get maximum value out of your role. So, for example, if you were to pull a five star, if you were to pull a five star unit when your pity rate is around 6%, after you pull that unit, your pity rate is reset. However, if you pull a 10 pull and you pull a five star unit, your pity rate is not reset until the end of that pull. So that means everything in the pull, even if the first unit you pull is a five star, all other, all nine other pulls will also have a 6% rate versus if you pull a single pull and you get a five star unit it instantly resets your pull, your um, rate. I know that may sound a little bit confusing. Um, hopefully you guys can understand that. So if you pull with a high pity rate, I recommend doing a 10 pull over single pulls because all units in that 10 pull have the rate up. Now we're going to look at other gacha games. Uh, Notable, a noticeable one that many players are coming from is Fire Emblem Heroes because this is Nintendo's second gacha game. So let's go over there really quickly. You can see my Robin and Mir. Um, I also have like no orbs because I was rolling for more Halloween units. Still looking for that Mia one day. Uh, hopefully I can get her before the, the banner goes away. So in this game, Fire Emblem Heroes, the rates are a little bit more um, out there. They don't sell you axle rates per unit kind of have to do the math yourself. For example, there's three rate up units right now in this game. That'd be Shigeru, Kaze, and Nino. So since the focus is 3%, ideally what you will believe, they don't tell you, is that 
each unit should be 1% chance. So if I'm pulling for this gotcha, the chance of me getting Nino should be a 1% chance, Segura and Kaze. So, But you can see that down here, there's another 3%. So this game is a little bit different than um, Grand Blue. Not my fault. It's a little bit different than Dragolia Lost. So if you go to details in this game, so you see how this had the focus unit. So each of these have a 1% chance of being pulled. But if you go into the five star and you scroll down, you'll notice that the rate up units are actually here. So what that means is that if you take, if you add up every unit here, that's in the current five star pull, and then you divide them by 3%. So I believe there's like uh, rough, I'll do a rough number of a hundred. So if there are a hundred units in this, um, uh, in this poll right now, you divide that by um, 0.3 because of the chance of you pulling a five star. So it ends up my fault, three percent. Apologize. So you end up getting 0 0.03, I think. You add that on top of the one percent to get the chance of you pulling Shigur, Nino, or Kaze. That also be the rate for each of the other units. So it's a little bit more um, likely for you to pull a rate up unit in this game opposed to a rate up unit in Dragalia Lost. Though in this game, you guys know the whole plus 10 system, IVs. So <laughs> we won't talk about that, but if you're coming from this game, you that's probably why you're more likely to pull a five star unit that you want in this game opposed to Dragalia Lost. Now, one thing I will mention about Dragalia Lost is that pulling units you only want to pull one of them after pulling the one you don't ever want to pull that unit ever again um because of the fact that l water and the system in this game is more beneficial for you to pull a dragon dupe and a worm print dupe um opposed to a character dupe now another game i want to look at really quick is grand blue fantasy now grand blue fantasy has a typical gotcha system this is just a normal gotcha game. Um, the rates aren't that high, but it does have a double rates banner. So most of the banners you actually don't want to pull on. So these are the normal draw rates in the game. The normal draw rates for you pulling a SSR unit or a five star uh, equivalent in other games is 3%. Now you can see that the rates are really low here. The reason that the rates are, they may be so low compared to Dragolia Law is because this game is very old. It's about running on four years, going on five. So because the pool is so diluted, um, the chance of you pulling a specific unit is actually very low. Even the rate up units in this game are 0.14. So that's about the same as pulling a Dragolia Lost Dragon. So you, you can kind of see that the rates aren't that high. Not to mention, you got to know you have to hit the 3%. You have to hit the 3% and then once you hit the three percent all this is calculated all of it so you that's why the rates are so low there's not a there's not a spread of it so that's how this game works this is more similar to most gotcha games um the average pull for a gotcha game i believe is anywhere between two percent um two to three i think two to three four and five is more generous but two to three is like the average pull of a gotcha game Hopefully this gives you guys a better understanding of pulling and gotcha games. If you like this video, leave a like on it. Spread it if people want to know more about gotcha games and their rates and stuff and how they work. Um, hopefully it was helpful. I'll see you guys next time and thank you guys for watching. Bye.